welcome back to my channel so for, day, for today's makeup look I wanted to show you guys one of my two choices for my cousin's wedding that I will be wearing for her wedding my cousin Karen and her fiance Mike had been together for a while now a couple of years and they are going to get married a week from today which is next Friday I'm actually going to be wearing a navy blue dress this is not the dress that I'm going to be wearing for the wedding but this is the closest navy blue color to that actual dress. I don't want to wear it on camera because I wanted to show you guys to surprise you guys on the actual day of the wedding. For that dress I wasn't sure if I wanted to go out with a smoked out navy blue and silver makeup look with no uh, nude lips which is what I did today or I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a neutral eye with bold lips. The neutral eyes and bold lips I will be doing in my next makeup tutorial which I will try to squeeze in for you guys before I leave for Canada. Um, this coming Tuesday. On a personal note, I want to say congratulations to Mike and Karen. I want to congratulate them and I'm just so happy for them and I'm so excited to see them coming Tuesday. If you guys like this makeup tutorial or this makeup look, please give it a thumbs up and if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't done so, so you guys can stay up to date with all of the makeup tutorials that I post. <sighs> Anyway, I hope you guys like this video and if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just please keep on watching. Hey guys, so as usual, I'm going to be priming my lid using the Ulta Eye Primer in the shade Champagne. And I'm just going to dab this all over my lid using my fingertips. I'm going to use these two light shades from the Morphe Test 35 m palette. And I'm just going to blend this all over my lid using the Anastasia Beverly Hills blending brush just to set this primer. Next I'm taking this color Dusty Rose from her artist palette and I'm going to use this as my transition color. I'm going to start from the inner corner to the outer corner. I'm sorry, from the outer corner to the inner corner. And I'm just going to blend this all over my crease area. I want this look to be as intense as possible since this is going to be one of my looks that um, I will be wearing for my cousin's wedding. Now I'm going to take this e.l.f. Essentials Expert Liquid Liner in Jet Black and I'm just going to line my outer V with this and I'm just going to use this as a base. You can use any um, black liner whether it be gel, liquid or even an eye pencil. And you don't have to be totally neat with this. And I'm using the other end of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blending Brush just to blend that out towards my, um, the middle of my eye. Now the key to this look is just a lot of blending. So you just blend, blend until you get get that nice, um, clean look. Now I'm gonna go with this matte blue color um, called Blue Velvet, and I'm just gonna dab this all over my outer corner of the outer corner of my eye using an old crease brush from Claire's. I'm gonna pack this on that top of that eyeliner just to intensify that. The black eyeliner really acts as a base and just help intensify that color. Applying any black eyeliner before you apply any dark colors really intensifies that color. So I'm just going to pack this on until I get the intensity that I want. And when I don't have a lot of products left on my brush, um, I'm actually going to blend this out using an Eco Tools blending brush. I just love how pigmented and easy to blend out her um, colors are. And this blue is just such a beautiful navy blue color. Next, I'm taking the color Beige Leaf from her palette and I'm going to split my flat shader brush with Max Fix Plus just to intensify that color. Starting from the inner corner and going towards the outer corner, I'm going to pack on this color until I get the intensity that I want. This is such a beautiful, silvery, grayish, shimmery eyeshadow and it's just so perfect with this eye look. 
So just keep on packing on this color until you get the intensity that you want. And I'm just gonna let that meet with the blue velvet just to create a little bit of a gradient effect. Then I'm just going to blend that out using the same blending brush from Anastasia. Now I'm going back with that blue velvet and I'm just going to pack on more of that on the outer corner just to intensify it a little bit more. And just keep on blending until you get that look very seamless. Now I'm just going to wipe off that edge just to make it create a clean look. Now I'm going to go back with that eyeliner from e.l.f. And I'm just going to create a typical wing liner. I'm not going to go too thick. I'm just, I just want to give this look a little bit more of a pop. Now I'm going to go to this Maybelline Rock the Nudes and I'm going to intensify that outer corner a little bit more using this black color, the darkest color in this palette and I'm just going to pack that on in the outer corner. To apply my face, I'm going to be using the Nivea Post Stay Balm for Men and I'm just going to dot this all over my face using my fingers and then blend it out using my hand. Next, I'm taking the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in Beige. Because this is going to be a wedding and a lot of flash photography going on, I didn't want to use any um, foundation that had any SPF on it. So now I'm just going to blend this all over my face using my Real Technique Miracle Complexion Sponge. For my concealer, I'm going with my Maybelline. Fit Me Concealer in the shade medium. And you know the drill, I'm going to highlight my, underneath my eyes, my, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my, the cupid bow, and my chin. And I'm going to blend that all out using the same complexion sponge from Real Technique. Now I'm going to go back to Beigely and I'm just going to wrap that around the inner corner and just stop halfway. Uh, and I did set my concealer using the e.l.f. mattifying translucent powder, um, but that cut, cut off. Then I'm taking the blue velvet and I'm gonna uh, line my lower lash line with that, starting from the outer corner and just me letting that meet with the basically color. And I'm using a flat definer brush from the dollar store. Then I'm taking that same color from the Drop Nude palette from Maybelline and just gonna put that on top of that blue velvet. To buff it out, I'm taking the color Dusty Rose and using an eye pencil from Eco Tools, I'm just going to smoke that out and buff it out and make sure that there are no harsh lines. Now I'm going to the Too Faced Bond Bond palette and I'm taking that color. I totally forgot what the name of it is, but I will link it down below and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone with it. Oh, the name of that color is Divinity. And I'm using a petite shader brush from Eco Tools. 
Then I'm taking that same palette, um, the satin sheet, and I'm just gonna highlight the inner corner of my eyes. I'm not gonna cover it that basically, I'm just gonna put that right in front of it, if that makes sense. For contour, I'm taking the Wet n Wild Dolce de Leche, Dolce de Leche contour palette, and I'm just gonna contour my cheekbones and my temples. And I'm using a brush from a uh, blush brush from Walmart. Next, I'm going to the Ulta Holiday Collection from December 2014, and I'm taking that color Desire, I believe, as a blush. And I'm using one of the Morphe brush contour brush from the set 690. For highlight, I'm taking the color the illuminating powder in the color. Uh, yellow diamond and I'm just gonna highlight the high points of my cheeks and I did wet my brush with a little bit of Max Flex Plus just to intensify that highlight. Now I'm gonna um, apply mascara on my lash lashes and my lower lashes, lashes and I did use the Clinique mascara and the Lancome mascara um, I forgot the exact name of it, but of course I will link it down below. To finish off the look, I'm taking this Maybelline color Darling Sherry and I'm just gonna put this all over my lips and then topping it off with the NYX butter lip gloss i believe in the shade eclair and that is the finished look you guys i hope you guys like this look if you do please give it a thumbs up and as always thank you guys so much for watching and you guys will see which one i choose next friday i'll see you guys soon